What is going on everybody? Thank you for tuning back in. This is Adam, uh, your host for Adam Finance. So thank you guys for blowing up that video about industrial engineering versus mechanical engineering. It seems like you guys had a lot of interest and a lot of questions on that video. Um, the main question that I want to answer today is the question that got the most comments and I'll put that on the screen right here. It is um, what careers do industrial engineers go into and like what kind of careers does that bring forth? So I kind of want to answer that, maybe look at some uh, current um, job listings that are on the market for industrial engineers to get into. So stay tuned. So many of you guys wonder, do industrial engineers have to work in a factory? Are they stuck working around long, hard hours, uh, doing the grunt work inside of these big warehouses? Well, the answer to that question is kind of unclear because industrial engineering really allows you to go into whatever field you want to go into. Myself, I want to go into more of like the healthcare world, kind of like improving the way uh, like prosthetics or, or insulin pumps are made, uh, medical devices. There's other things that people want to do. Other people want to go into the automotive industry, like an example would be at Ford. For the people who design the assembly line, basically the industrial engineer would go into Ford and be like, okay, where in the assembly line are products taking the longest and where can we improve that so that we're basically spending less money on maybe electricity, maybe on like time where those parts could actually be in circulation, being getting to the next stage being built so that a car can be finished and then the final product is sold. Another example for industrial engineers is they go into like data analytics. So they might be going to work for these big companies, big banks, and trying to see, okay, where are the errors? Where is there somewhere we can save a little bit of money? How can our investors make more money, which overall will make us more money? So a lot of industrial engineers go into like data analytics, data science. It's not very, un it's not uncommon at all to see most industrial engineers on their resume say like data analyst at like blank company. So I'll put a couple of job listings if I can find them like up right here. Um, that might help you guys out, see what I'm talking about, see your different salary options. So in terms of what I'm doing at Amazon, I'm not 100% sure because I haven't exactly started yet, but I do start very soon. And I'll make a video kind of just explaining what I'm doing, how do I like it, um, what I would like to see myself do in the future, what I could improve on, uh, personal skills. But basically what I think I'll be doing is working um, with a stow manager. So someone else who is basically getting the packages, stowing them into like either vehicles or into the in some other area of the warehouse. Um, maybe it's like a company's inventory will be taking that. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is kind of seeing what they're doing and trying to see how they can do it faster or more efficiently so that they're not working like a 10 hour shift to do something. Maybe we can get it down to like an eight hour shift, which saves the company more money and it saves that person's time uh, versus just sitting around doing other things or moving a little slower. I'm very excited to start this internship. This is my first industrial engineering internship. Um, I really think it's gonna be a great experience. It really will teach me what I wanna be doing. Do I really wanna be at an Amazon factory? Do I wanna be at a big factory in general? I know Intel just moved an enormous factory. Well, they're building one out here in Arizona. So that could be an option too, if I wanna get into the computer parts world. But I really don't know, and that's why internships are so important. You really need to figure out what you wanna do. Like with mechanical engineering, I knew for a fact that I didn't wanna do it anymore because I did those internships. If I didn't do that, I would've wasted four years of my life and basically have a useless degree because I didn't want to do it. And working a job that you don't want to do is terrible. Working a job that you love is like never working a day in your life. So that's why these are so important. If I end up loving this internship with Amazon, okay, maybe I might stay there for a couple of years, work my way up, and then maybe get a different job as an industrial engineer somewhere else. I really don't know. Um, that's why I'm very excited and very grateful for the opportunity to have this position. And I will definitely be checking back with you guys to let you know how it's going. The thing that I love about in industrial engineering is that there's kind of always going to be a demand for industrial engineers versus some other types of engineers. You might be replaced by some kind of automation. Industrial engineers really, they might be designing a uh, system to automate the process, but then they'll go to a different company and work with them to automate their process. So the job growth for this uh, industry for industrial engineers is growing rapidly. I think about 10% every single year. So it's very popular, it's on the rise. 
um, there's definitely gonna be no shortage of jobs for IEs. In conclusion, I really hope this video helped you guys understand that industrial engineers do not just do one thing. Like, you can go work at a factory if you want the rest of your life. You can be doing data analytics. It really depends on what you like, what you want to do for the rest of your career. I'm not saying that I want to go work in a factory all my life and my entire career, but that's my internship. That's the first one I've had for industrial engineering. I'm very grateful for that opportunity. And I'll definitely report back how I like it, how I'm thinking, what my mindset is moving forward. But I've kind of made this video as a preliminary to give you guys kind of like the structure that industrial engineers can do whatever they want. They can do data analytics, they can do research positions, they can do uh, warehouse work, they can do assembly line work. It really just depends on what you want to do and that I can't answer that for you, but I just gave you the facts. So if you guys really enjoyed this video, please leave a comment what you guys wanna see in the next video. I'm happy to keep making more of these videos for industrial engineers, uh, other majors. I know a lot about engineering. Uh, make sure to like it, um, comment again, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.